Mangoes out of season are expensive. <laughs> Go out to eat them out of season. Go out to eat them if you think they're too expensive. But really, the number one reason people are raw food is, is because it's cheap. Okay, maybe the food itself isn't as cheap. But if you add in the health costs, I get a call about once a day from somebody trying to sell me health insurance. <laughs> I'm on their list, apparently. And I tell them, I don't use health insurance. I've got health assurance. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know what to do. You got health assurance? Yes, I'm assured. <laughs> If you try to break the laws of nature, all you will end up doing is proving the laws of nature. Step off the building. You won't float. Gravity, gravity is a law of nature. We cannot break the laws of nature. Nature breaks us. And we're watching our health decline, as we heard last night from Larry, and we heard from many of the speakers today. Our health is in a decline that is unmatched in the history of humankind. We've been here more or less most of the people who study these things say about two million years. In two million years, it's a track record of success. If, it had, if we had ever failed anywhere along the way, we wouldn't be here now. If our ancestors had failed, we would not be here. We'd be dinosaurs. They failed. Cockroaches succeeded. <laughs> For two million years, people ate what they could get. And for only a few thousand have we been playing around with fire at all. In the history of mankind, about 99.9% .9 of the time that we've been here, people ate the food they could grab, the food that was easy to get. I know we could eat an antelope, but have you ever tried to run one down? It's not an easy thing. It's easy for a lion. Lions do the same thing as us. They eat what's easy to get. It's hard for a lion to grab an apple off a tree or a peach. It's really tough without that thumb. They look at us and scratch their heads. They eat what's easy to get. We eat what's easy to get, and what's easy to get doesn't try to get away. <laughs> if your food is trying to get away, now I know this is the problem with eating raw food, because you start eating it and it squirts over here and it squirts over here, and I go, oh, it's trying to get away. <laughs> but in general, in reality, your food isn't trying to get away, that's just our own clumsiness of handling our own food. I talked to the man a couple months back who wanted to know if there was any shred of scientific rationale to the program that I'm following. Is, is there science behind it? Has anybody ever been asked, is there science behind it? Come on, every single one of us has been asked, what's the science? Oh, come on, you gotta give, cite me the facts. Well, it turns out that this man had been a doctor for 40 years, and I said, doctor, when you went to medical school, you learned a little bit about chemistry. And you learned a little bit about the chemistry of foods. It was not called nutrition. We lie when we, set, when we tell each other that doctors learn nothing about nutrition. It's true that they don't take nutrition courses, but they take chemistry. It is the nutrition of food. Food chemists work for the food industry. So when you were in school, what you learned in your textbooks 40 years ago, what had already become accepted textbook information. It wasn't hypothesis theory. These had been tested, tried, proved over and over and over until it was now standard textbook material. This is exactly what I'm doing. 
I'm telling people that fruits and vegetables are more healthy for us. You want research on that? The American Cancer Society, the Heart Foundation, the arthritis people, name a disease. Retinitis, pigmentosa, anybody that's got a disease-oriented organization has come up with health recommendations and diet recommendations, and what do they say? Eat more fruits, eat more vegetables. Does it take a rocket scientist to figure out that if you eat more fruits and eat more vegetables, you're going to be eating less of something else? I read an article just recently, and then again, stated from somebody else. Two different people from completely unrelated sources, I know they didn't hear about each other, both of whom said, you don't get heart disease or cancer from eating meat. That kind of sticks in your craw, though, huh? but they have, But they had more. You don't get heart disease from eating meat, they said. You get heart disease from eating too little fruits and vegetables. I struggle with this. This man was either brilliant or really stupid. Because he, he was just telling us the opposite side of the same coin. Does it take brilliance for any of us to go, if fruits and vegetables are the best things that we can possibly eat, and we start eating more of them, they are still the best thing we could possibly eat, and so we eat more of them. Eventually, aren't we going to, if we care about ourselves, eat them to the exclusion of everything else? Why is this such a, such a, a stumbling block for people? Oh, to, to the exclusion of everything else? You mean, I can't have the things I love anymore? Oh, sure, you can have anything you love. You just have to pay the price. You want to go out and buy a shot of heroin? I'm sure it's available in Portland. You want to go out and get drunk tonight? They still sell rum in Portland. <laughs> you want to do any of the things, any of what we consider to be self-destructive vices, it's all available. You can have whatever you want. It's your choice. You want help? You want sickness? You want what everybody else has got? You want to suffer the last 40 years of your life, like all of the people are doing? 97% of Americans have heart disease. 3% are vegan. Gee, I wonder which 3%? So 90% of America is estimated to have cancer in their body. Well, you know, those numbers don't add up. That comes up to 187%. Hmm. Obviously, there's a lot of people with heart disease who also have cancer, who also have arthritis, who also have diabetes, who also have a very complicated health history. And no, they don't all die from heart disease. Only 67% die from heart disease. The cancer kills the rest. And no, they don't all die from cancer. Only 33% die from cancer. The heart disease kills the rest. Which way do you want to go? Natural causes kills 0% of Americans. <laughs> Scary. I'm looking for the things that will support me so that I can do the things that interest me. I don't do one single solitary shred of work or thought or effort of any kind into taking care of my health. Health comes naturally. All you have to do is participate in the causes of health. Surround yourself with the conditions that 